An effective way to bring CAD information into a Revit environment is to link that information in. To link it in, you come underneath the Insert tab and then come over to Link CAD. The nice thing about linking CAD information in is that when we do link it in, it won't actually be part of the project. It'll still be inside of this DWG file that we're getting ready to pick. In this case, the 1902 Linked CAD Files project. Click on Open. And it's just displaying that information from that DWG file. If the information should change in the DWG file, then it will update itself inside of this file, our Revit project. Another nice thing about linking this information in is the fact that now that it's here and it's in place, we can start to draw over the top of it and begin to recreate our building from scratch. By the way, this also applies with such things as architectural details, where you can use tools such as the Select Line tool to quickly trace over and redraw your different detail views. I'm going to open up the South Elevation view. I want to copy this level up a few times so that we get proper elevations for each of these walls that we're getting ready to draw. So select on the levels, come up here to the copy command, which looks like a series of little circles. Make sure that multiple is checkmarked. Now click where level one is at, come straight up and click again when you reach level two. Click again when you reach level three. Now, instead of clicking again when you reach level four, just move the mouse slightly up and when it says three feet, click again because that's going to be the elevation of our level five. Hit escape a couple times on the keyboard. We now have our levels in place for the different elevations that our walls that we're getting ready to draw in will go up to. Next, go back to your floor plan level, the level one. We can see that this particular floor plan is still here. That's the original CAD drawing that's been linked in. But if you go to the architecture tab and select wall off of the list, we'll go to properties. And the first thing I want to do is select a wall style off of the list. In this case, I'm going to select exterior EIFS on metal stud. Now, one of the tools here is called the pick lines tool. Choose pick lines. For height, we're going to change this from being unconnected and go up to level five. Location line, I don't want this to be the wall center line. We're going to do the finished face of exterior. And you'll notice that the individual lines that make up this CAD file are now highlighting. And it's because the pick line tools is on. We can pick this line right here, making sure that the blue dash line is toward the inside of the wall. We can see the blue dash line down here. When it's there, click, and it'll place that wall in. Now let's try a different wall style. In this case, we're going to pick a different wall off the list. And it's going to be the generic 8-inch masonry wall. All the rest of this information is fine for right now. If you click in here when the blue dash line is on this side of this line right here, it'll draw another wall in. Do the same thing with this wall here. We can do the same with these walls over here and begin to frame these in by just clicking, almost playing connect the dots, except in this case, we're tracing all the way around in order to state where each of these walls need to be placed at. If we look at this in a 3D view now, we can now see these walls are getting placed in all their appropriate locations going all the way on around. By using the insert command and then link Revit, you can quickly trace around any of your floor plans and begin the recreate buildings that were created two-dimensionally in CAD, three-dimensionally in Revit. Also, the same process can work with your individual details. If you insert a detail into a drafting view, you can use the pick lines tool to begin the trace all the way around that detail to help you with the process of recreating your details inside of the Revit environment.